wanted to share a Comet Craft tip. It might not be groundbreaking, but it might be something you guys have never thought of before. So if you are really busy, if you work a day job, if you do conventions, if you have kids, you know it can be really hard to sit down and find time to work on your comic. Whether you're working traditionally or digitally, it's hard to find the time to do a whole page at a time. So what I do when I'm super busy, in order to keep the momentum up, is I cherry pick the easiest panels from each page. And I go ahead and I start drawing them. So panels that don't require a lot of reference, don't require me doing the perspective grids, just the easiest panels I can. I go ahead and I work my way through all of those until I have time again to focus on working on my comic. And this has a couple benefits. One, it means I'm keeping the chain going. I'm still working on my comic. I'm still making progress because any progress is better than no progress. And two, I've actually put a start on the page. So when I go to finish the page, sometimes the page is like half done for me and I can do two or even three pages in a day. So that kind of ties into how I normally work. I will usually break down my process into daily chunks. I know not every artist does this, but it works for me. It helps me stay on schedule and it helps me stay focused where let's say I'm doing roughs. This is one of my roughs. I'll do an entire page in a day. Now that only works when I have the time to devote to it. So my other little hack is a great way for me to do my work at shows, while traveling, when prepping for cons, because even if you're crazy busy, you can find time to draw, to pencil, to sketch, to thumbnail one panel. You can do that. And if you just do it every single day, eventually it'll start to add up. And again, some progress is better than no progress. So I hope you found this helpful, this little tip helpful, inspiring or encouraging. Maybe it shows you that, you know, people work in a variety of different ways and it's okay to find the method that works for you. I'm gonna uh, sort of close out by doing a time lapse for some of the panels on this page here from chapter eight. If you guys haven't checked out my webcomic, Seven Inch Kara, I would love for you to do so. It's a watercolor webcomic aimed at all ages about an adorable seven inch tall little girl named Kara who goes out on a big adventure and maybe gets more than she bargained for. You can find it at seveninchkara.tumblr.com or seveninchkara.com.